Oh yeah. So hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a really cool program that lets you add borders to any of your applications. I mean, just look at this. Just a sec. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is this? I mean, who could have thought that you can do this in macOS, right? Uh, obviously, you cannot do this natively. It's a third-party application, but it's it, like it's extremely lightweight and it's really awesome. So it's a tool called Janky Borders. Uh, great work to the author, of course. Uh, lightweight window border system for macOS. Yeah, install it using Brew. Pretty simple. You can obviously integrate this with uh, not obviously. I mean, you could integrate this with Yabai and Aerospace. So those are window managers and yeah, I'll quickly discuss, go over with these options, style. So okay, I'll go to my borders of him. Yeah. So what should I say? Yeah. Quickly go over the styles, style, basically rounded or whatever different yeah keep it on rounded uh yeah, so what are the different options for styles style yeah round or square so right restricted but <laughs> okay whatever keep it on round because mac os windows are by default round uh width i usually keep it on four High DPI, basically for retina displays, you want high resolution, so keep that on. Blacklist, so okay, you can specify applications which will not, uh, you know, have these borders. So yeah, blacklist different applications. I usually keep Finder on here because I don't want find. I usually open multiple Finder windows, so I don't want them to have these borders. It looks awkward. Active color, so okay, uh, active color. Just a sec. So I'll show you without glow you see the difference so there's no glow i mean this also looks quite clean uh, looks all right but <laughs> glow is on a whole different level i mean just look at this wow <laughs> i love this okay so yeah i keep it on glow some of my favorite colors are that red one purple sometimes i like to keep it on black as well so yeah you, you can't really see but there's definitely a border with a glow here okay so yeah you can call the command like this the hand operator for calling it in the background you could also uh, do something like use brew service start that also works and it will automatically start upon login so that's cool uh, i usually use this script and i call this script with uh, uh, skht so that's simple hotkey daemon uh, look that up it basically allows you to map keyboard shortcut uh, key bindings to different commands so you can call different scripts commands whatever you can call on terminal you can call it with <laughs> keyboard shortcuts that's also pretty cool i use that to call this script which and what this script does is basically toggles the borders function uh, borders command right so there's a state file it checks for that state file if it does not exist creates one and yeah, uh, if it exists, it reads the state, uh, like after it exists, obviously, it reads the state. If the state is on, it kills the borders command, so it turns the borders off. If it's off, then it turns the border command on. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, not that complex. Okay, why am I recording a macro? Yeah, so pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so that's it i don't think there's anything more to this command there's a man page you could read it uh, okay so yeah you can also set an inactive color so inactive 
there yeah so that's also quite nice so what this will do is basically if you have multiple windows open there will be a different border color for the window that's in focus and there will be different colors for windows that are out of focus yeah background color i don't think this i mean what's this i am not sure check that out sets the background fill color for all windows okay, maybe i should try yeah i'll just change i just copy this copy this back around color and i'll change the black to red and restarting okay oh wow so <laughs> i got what it is uh okay so i'll uh just to say black I, I don't think you can see it with the color being black so i'll change it to uh, change it to yeah see purple basically sets up background color fills the window with color so you can't see it on something like uh, firefox because it's not transparent obviously but you can see this uh, in terminal because that's transparent and uh, pretty useless <laughs> it is what it is i mean maybe it does have a use case just not for me yeah so right that's everything i guess Cool. Yeah, so if you like the video, consider liking and subscribing.